We have brought back some vinyl content to the channel lately, and we had a, a viewer of the channel recently ask me to share some thoughts on the new Extreme Album 6, and uh, I thought I would roll that together with some vinyl content because I purchased that new album on vinyl. So uh, today I'm going to share my thoughts on the vinyl pressing of the record, uh, what I think about the pricing and the overall package, and uh, some thoughts about the actual album itself. Uh, as far as vinyl goes, there's a couple of things that I always look at whenever I've purchased a record or when I'm thinking about purchasing the record, uh, one of which is packaging. I always say on this channel, uh, you know, you don't play the cover, but when buying a new record, um, it does matter to me like if you know somebody's uh put out a half-hearted effort uh if they've put out a double record without a gatefold or something like that if it just seems like a cash grab that's kind of off-putting to me so with the extreme record there's a couple of things that i expect from a, a double lp like this and there was uh, at least one thing that I thought was really cool on the vinyl pressing. Uh, as far as the uh, overall packaging goes, it is a gatefold, which is great for two LPs. Uh, it's available in several different colors. I got a uh, like a smoky red uh, cover. I think just the luck of the draw for me. I didn't buy that on purpose. Um, uh, but it's a cool gatefold with the great pictures of the band inside. And the uh, it's got cardboard inner sleeves uh, or thick paper inner sleeves, uh, which I don't have a problem with if they're printed. Like I understand not everything's going to come in rice paper sleeves and whatnot. But uh, and this is so minor. But one thing that stood out for me in the package is the uh, the gorilla on the cover of the record is like raised like some of the fur and the uh, detail in the face is raised a little bit. Uh, kind of embossed, which I think is kind of a cool, nice touch. So for uh, packaging, it's pretty standard overall, except I do like the uh, the raised or embossed uh, detail on the Gorilla. Uh, pricing is another thing that matters to me a great deal, especially over the last five years when buying new vinyl. Uh, this is a price what you see most new two LP releases at. It's about 30, 35 bucks, depending on where you get it. Uh, that's what I expect. Uh, I personally got mine from uh, Rock City Music, even though I moved down to Jacksonville. Uh, Rock City Music is where I still buy all of my uh, new vinyl. I'll put a link to them in the description uh, below. Uh, Rock City Music Company to me is one of the best record stores that you can buy from people who care about music a great deal. So if, if you're interested in checking them out, hit the link in the description. Sound is obviously the thing that matters to me the most uh, with a with any vinyl pressing, uh, and I know a lot of that falls in the uh, the eye uh, the the ear of the listener. Uh, but for me, one thing I noticed on every single song was a lot wider soundstage on the vinyl pressing than I did because I streamed this record two or three times uh, before I got the vinyl pressing uh, in at my house. So I had been really used to listening to it from streaming and uh, the vinyl pressing to me, I heard a lot wider soundstage. Uh, as far as the actual album goes, I'm not going to go on at length about this, but kind of a quick review of the album. Uh, if you know Extremes catalog, let me say that this is in my top three Extreme records that they've released so far. Uh, you're not going to get much better than pornography for most people. It's an absolute masterpiece. I'm big into concept records. And so that album hits all the notes for me. Uh, in second place for me is, um, Sawdads Day Rock, which I think is an amazing album. That's really, really, really underlooked. And I wasn't sure that extreme would be able to top that one for me. Uh, they came close, but they didn't. So in third place for me is six. Um, if anything, I think the track listing is a little uneven on the record. Uh, side four of the album has some really creative and different things that you're not used to hearing from Extreme, but it feels to me like they just kind of threw it on side four to be like, well, this doesn't go with the rest of the record. And I would have liked to have seen it maybe worked in uh, with the rest of the record tracks like uh, Beautiful Girls. To me, it's different than anything you're ever going to hear from Extreme. Uh, but I feel like the song would get more credit if it was like mixed in with the album so that it wasn't made to feel like an afterthought, or at least that's how I take it. I, it to me, it very much feels like an afterthought where it's put. So uh, it's my third favorite extreme record. I like it a great deal. If you've come to the album for the extreme music you're expecting, I think you can find that on the first three sides. If you like things a little more adventurous and something uh, out of left field, then definitely side four is for you. The last thing I always touch on with uh, vinyl reviews is value. Uh, you know, I never want to presume to tell you how to spend your money, but for me, uh, it really meant 35 bucks. It's, it's worth mentioning whether or not I think anybody else should buy that. And for me, if you are a fan of extreme and you like either of those two records that I had mentioned before, I think you're going to like this album quite a bit 
Uh, and, and like I say, with the packaging and the sound of it, I do think 35 bucks is fair to ask. The only thing I would tell you is if you're an extreme fan, I do know that these uh, runs of vinyl that they've done on this record are fairly limited for whatever reason. So if you're going to pick it up, I would tell you to do so uh, sooner than later. So uh, we always say on this video, hey, thanks for watching. But uh, I want to say thank you to the listeners uh, and the viewers that say, hey, we've got an idea for you or we'd love to see this video. So uh, to the viewer who asked for this video, hopefully this is what you were looking for. If you have any uh, help, uh, any way that you want to help the channel, the best way you can do that is to hit the like button, leave us a comment. And uh, a really big way that helps is share our videos out on your social media. Uh, if you could do any of that to give us a hand, we'd appreciate it. And as we always say, thank you so much for watching.